Oh, absolutely. I mean, patient-centered care and the right treatment in the right place, that's what it's all about. We wanted people to get the same standard of care here as they would get anywhere else if they went down the line. So that was really important. She was able to come and see him all day and yes, he did much better and it meant the world to them not to have to go to Melbourne. Yeah. Really we were identifying you know, some years ago now that we needed a specialty skill set and we needed a different nurse patient ratio. There's a growing complexity in, in our clinical complexity in our patients and they needed specialist, both specialist medical and nursing care. And we needed to establish more robust systems of uh, communication and with tertiary centres as well and whilst we have that for people in the emergency department we didn't have anything like that for people in their wards. The High Dependency Unit is a unit where we deliver high levels of care and particularly um, higher levels of observation and uh, monitoring of, of patients. What this means for BRHS is that where in the past we had to transfer these patients away uh, to Sale or La Trobe or Melbourne, uh, we can now manage patients in the community here. So people with um, uh, cardiac issues, a lot of them can be treated here. People with respiratory illnesses that do need that extra support, we can now do that here. Um, surgical patients that might have a lot of comorbidities they often can stay here now so they can have their surgery and be looked after in the high dependency unit. You know, keeping care as close to home as possible is um, a really important thing for our community. Families, you know, it's difficult for them to get to Melbourne. We also service a very remote part of the um, population of Victoria and, you know, people who have to come from all Boston and then if they had to go to Melbourne, that would, you know, that's a big impost and, and difficult. So by keeping them in the high dependency unit here at this hospital, they, they can see everyone and be closer to home. So it's a four bed unit, but three of the beds are allocated as being HDU. We have, uh, as I said, increased monitoring, so we've got monitors in there, we've got the pendants and additional equipment like uh, the uh, BiPAP ventilators and uh, oxygen support, etc. Probably the, the most important uh, equipment uh, needed is nursing care at a level and a ratio which is uh, specific for HDU plus the nurses are specifically trained to treat and that is the important uh, factor in managing HDU patients is increased nursing care and increased observation. We um, are seeing that our transfer out costs um, which is the Ambulance Victoria and some of our non-emergency um, patient transport services is definitely reducing and so that's a good indicator that you know, we're keeping more people here, we're keeping sicker people here, but when we're keeping them, we've got everything in place, and especially our links to the Alfred Intensive Care, to make sure that they're really safe here, and that their care is, is of a high standard. We can telehealth patients in our HDU with the Alfred Intensivist in their ICU. They're there on the screen, they can zoom right in. can talk to the patient which is really important and talk to the patient's relatives um, and ask them have they got any questions or any concerns. Medical and nursing staff are learning from what they're sharing with us but you know nine times out of ten it's just a confirmation that we're on the right track and that they wouldn't be doing anything differently. The training's provided by the nursing education team. it might be um, arterial line monitoring for a general ward patient that wouldn't be something we do on the ward whereas in the HDU we've got the um, monitoring facilities that we can monitor that but the staff obviously also need the skill set to be able to manage that. So the telehealth education sessions go for about an hour um, they're set up over a, a Zoom platform which is like a, a Skype, it's like sitting in a cl virtual classroom. Feedback for those sessions has been overwhelmingly positive from both the nursing and medical staff, um, great opportunity for learning. 
having that HDU actually helps us retain staff. You know, it gives people an opportunity to go and work and get trained up in a in a specialty area and get qualifications in a, in a specialty area. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, and it means people have more choices about what sort of um, areas they can venture out into in nursing. So. And you know, they, we've got emergency, we've got theatre, and now we've got the high dependency unit. And it is a specialised area, but um, so, you know, hopefully we can attract more nurses to come here as well. And certainly for medical staff, um, you know, they're getting more interesting cases, they're seeing more interesting cases. It's very rewarding work, getting well supported through the telemedicine project um, now, and access to, you know, intensivists at, at the Alfred, and how fantastic is that for them to have those opportunities on a daily basis in Bensdale, you know, so that's a great thing.